love of God, can a man have more power moves? It's like one thing after another. No, I just, I, da, da. Okay, the next time you want to surprise somebody and sick calls out sick. <laughs> sick calls out sick, that's funny. Um, the next time you want to surprise somebody the likes of Carnage, can you go ahead and call somebody else, please? I really don't need this. I come out of retirement just to get slammed around the ring like I'm some kind of... What? I needed somebody to weaken him down. I made him tap. I thought you could do it. Yeah, you know I have a bad back, Rocco, but it's kind of hard to make people do tap. Do you mind? Do you mind? I have to shoot this promo. The cameraman's been waiting. Holy okay, shit, wait. You're in the middle of a promo? Yeah. Do you oh, mind? Do you mind? Okay. Away. Tonight, it's the Messiah versus the Hellraiser. It's the best ship versus the ship. It's the Hall of Famer versus the new Hall of Famer. He lost his belt. <laughs> Oh, six-time champ just lost his for the sixth time. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're happy, he's waving, and you're laughing. <laughs> yeah, you're champ, Rocco, Rocco. Congratulations on the Hall of Fame, buddy. Just uh, don't be talking shit. Just remember, just remember, things come full circle. <laughs> Gino, welcome back home. I hope you enjoy WAWX1. We've had new team champions. We have Johnny Psycho, who's still our pure champion. We've had battle royals, dog collar, bit matches. But now it's main event time for the WAW Championship. Let's take it to Mr. Labrie. This evening's main event is for the WAW Championship. And will be decided under singles match rules. And it's scheduled for one fall with a time limit of 30 minutes. Entry first, your guest commentator, the Jersey Devil. The Jersey Devil, my guest commentator. Wait a minute. I mean, he was at this table before. I guess he's coming. Oh, that looked like it kind of hurt. Well, I guess the Jersey Devil is taking his place back at the announcer's table. Do you remember how to use that thing? Uh, this goes on first? Yeah. Uh -huh. I used to be the commentator. Long time ago, yeah. Right? No, actually, you were supposed to put this on first, on the, over the ears. It's other, uh, other way, like a little tiara. And now, about to enter the ring, he is the 2009 Hall of Fame inductee. The WAW champion, hailing from Salem, Massachusetts, the Halloween Hellraiser, Rocco! Well, Rocco, your former teammate, former team champion, Taking you to fight the raging demon, courage, uh, great effort, but why did you piss the poor guy off? Well, it's all a matter of strategy. Essentially trying to get him so angry that he starts making mistakes, which he did, and I did capitalize, but the WWE president decided that that wasn't good enough. Carnage would have kicked out, come on, it's a raging demon. But you know what? Right here we have the 2009 Hall of Fame inductee, the WAW champion, Rock. What? What are you doing? Hey! What? Watch this! Oh, you got this to death! Yeah. Don't burn! No, that looks good. This shot of that. WAW Hall of Fame inductee. Rocco! Doesn't that guy burn up if he touch crosses or something? And his opponent, hitting from Rod, Red, Red Rock, Colorado, Gino Diamides. And this man has not been seen since Legacy this past year. He is the former five-time WAW champion. He's a hatred enemy of you, a hated enemy of Rocco. Pretty much a hated enemy of anyone that's ever crossed his path. Yeah, it's not going to matter tonight, though. These fans haven't seen this man in a long time. He is a WAW legend, a Hall of Famer in his own right, a five-time WAW champion. Uh, some people say he's pretty much synonymous with the WAW championship. 
And he actually created it when he merged it with the United States title. It was the second current, uh, incarnation of the WAW Championship that Gino bought, brought into, uh, and of course the current one we have now, brought by Kevin Chaos's reign. Look, the fact is I'm obviously a little bit biased here. I'm going to be uh, rooting for Rocco the whole time, but there is absolutely a serious threat standing across from him right now. Well, think about it. When's the last time Rocco pinned Gino Diamini's shoulders to the mat? Well, let's take a little bit of a history lesson here. Wow, what a bit of a... He wants to shake his hand. Would you trust Gino Diamini if he wanted to shake your hand, devil? Honestly, no. All right, look, no, look at that. that tweet. You know what it is? He knows that Rocco was just inducted into the Hall of Fame last uh, last night. He was at the ceremony. He was present uh, for the awarding of that certificate that you just saw. It's now covering your My certificate. certificate, of course, being the big mouth of WAW. Yeah, I'm sorry, but Hall of Fame is a little bit bigger deal than having a big mouth. There's really nothing I can disagree with you on that one. We got a beautiful headlock by Rocco to yes, Mr. Diomedes. Before you need to take a look at the history, if there's one thing Gino Diomedes has done, it is win the WAW Championship over and over and over again without winning number one contender matches. He has never in his entire career won a minor championship. Never Lord of the Ring, never Legacy, Annihilation, Apocalypse. He's undefeated at Apocalypse, the Apocalypse but he hasn't King. won the Apocalypse Championship. He's never won the Hellbound Championship or the Doomsday Championship. He's never won the team title. He's never won the pure title. His career has been based around the WWE Championship, and Rocco has quite possibly the most serious threat he has ever faced right here in the ring with him. And Gino Diomedes' Carnage is a lot smarter than people give him credit for. Carnage chose an opponent that has beaten Rocco time and time again. We got a pin. Well, the question is, if Gino Diomedes pulls up a victory, it's no chance in hell it's an upset over Rocco. He is going to be going to Doomsday to fight the Raging Demon Carnage. Who brought Carnage into WAW? Gino Diomedes. Who turned on the Raging Demon Carnage in a team match for the title? So that's going to be Gino Diomedes. And uh, who had one of the best feuds we've ever seen in uh, body bag matches, dog collar matches? Uh, Shatter? No, that would uh, definitely be Gino uh, Diomedes. Versus Carnage. I mean, Carnage... Now, he was thinking to bring in Gino Diomedes to beat Rocco, but the question is, Carnage's win-loss record against Gino is not that impressive. Well, there's where Carnage isn't so bright. He, oh, oh my wow. God, the what a... vicious kick to the head. We could all hear that. Beautiful and an arm drag. arm drag from Rocco. Oh, oh wow, again, right into a key lock. Uh, Rocco, absolutely one of the best technical wrestlers in WAW ever. Uh, he gets a lot of credit for being hardcore. But he's so much more than that, just like Gino Diomedes. People see him, they think hardcore. This man can grapple with the best of them. He can high fly, he can do anything. He's got the submissions. He's oh, a wow, very look well at his, the way his, that arm bar is torquing the elbow in a way it's not supposed to bend. As well as putting pressure on the shoulder, the back of the neck, but Rocco's working his way out of it. I experienced and, uh, something like oh. this earlier tonight. <laughs> well, Carnage, I mean, that's the power difference. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Out over the Hurricane Rana. Gino Diomedes up, over. Oh, makes the punch through the legs. Are you, Rocco? <laughs> Rocco off the ropes, ducks the big clothesline again. Ah, oh, this is beautiful. Oh, oh wow. wow! Basement drop kick taking out the legs of Gino Diomedes. Looks like a uh, basement drop kick. Yes, it looks like his head might have bounced off his knee right there. A knee right to the solar plexus. That's just an added benefit. And Rocco is also no stranger to striking, delivering a hard knee to the abdominal muscles right there. He's WAW's master of the Polish hammer. Oh, big running knee. I'm pretty sure only Polish people call it that. It's a double axe handle, but whatever you want to call it. And he's going for that uh, cross face maybe right here, trying to end it a little early, but Rocco getting hold up with crucifix. One, two. Look at this. Hey, you're seeing two experts at their craft right here. You could not have a better main event for an anniversary show. All these people, you hear Rocco, you hear Gino Diomedes, you automatically assume you're going to see blood and hardcore. Gino Diomedes, the inventor of Cemetery Gates, you've been in that match. Of course, Rocco on the other end, the inventor of Trick or Treat, you've also been in that match. But like you said before, these both men know how to wrestle. They know how to grapple with the best of them. And that's exactly what they're showing us tonight, is their skill in the ring. No weapons, no strings attached. And me, personally, at the uh, X1 show, Show, it is a privilege to see a great match like this. Yeah, like I said, I mean, we're, we're seeing something where, oh, wow. 
Monkey flip so over. Monkey flip continues it over into a pin, full mount. And Rocco has absolutely no guard here. No! Gets up to his feet, and now Gino is on the receiving end. Oh, a knee to the jaw. He doesn't play games. If he knows that it's going to be more effective to knee you in the face, that's what he's going to do. Well, Rocco, we all know Rocco's a little bit crazy, just well, a little bit more than a little bit crazy. I mean, he doesn't care. He will knee you in the temple, strike you in the back of the head, whatever it takes to retain his precious baby in the WAW championship. Way well, you got to pin one, two, and oh, Gino kicks out right there. He's held it before one time for a week. A little bit mirroring to your career as well, Devil. But then he won it back from Sin in one of the brutalest matches I've ever witnessed or been the privilege to call. And he's just not going to lose it in one week. He's going to retain it for as long as... Oh, razor kick! Oh! Into the corner. And, wow, Rocco might still be on his feet through the help of the corner. I connected with some serious authority. I have no doubt in my mind his back would be on the mat if he wasn't so near the corner. But that's not necessarily a good thing. This corner combo... Ball right up. Gino Diomedes is vicious with these attacks. Oh. Oh. And he doesn't let up. As long as he knows he can keep connecting, he will do so. Oh, what a move! Back with a moose oh. right into a pin. No, no, he rolled out of it, Gino. Uh, Rocco was able to keep him off balance using his hips to, to knock uh, uh, Gino Diomedes off him. Both of these guys, we know this, are veterans of the ring wars here in a big kick. Rocco up and over the flipping neck breaker. Wow. Sending Rocco face first into the mat. If he can make the cover and capitalize. Oh, you think? One, two, and Rocco kicks out. Not only, you know, whoever wins this will be WAW champion, but you got to think in the back of their mind. They got to fight Carnage, who's the number one contender for Doomsday. But early in the night, PT Plague, whatever you want to call him. It's called Plague the Jester, that way you cover everything. Uh, PT Plague, Plague the Jester, that works too. He's the number one contender and can cash that in any time he wants. You got two of the biggest, most violent men gunning for your... Oh wow, what a spear! Gunning for your championship. In the back of your mind, you gotta think, Oh crap, what the hell am I gonna be able to do to beat those guys? Well, uh, whoever wins here is definitely gonna be showing that they have what it takes. But, uh, Carnage... Oh, there Wait. he goes. He's got that Crypto Cross face locked in. I mean, he, he was looking for. And Gino Diomedes body is all twisted up too on this. And he gets the ropes, but I mean, these fans are behind Gino. They're behind Rocco split 50-50. Gino's done some pretty nasty things, but the fans respect the Hall of Famer, the five-time WAW champion, Gino Diomedes. Oh! Oh, wow, it's a pumpkin crush encounter. He's going for the shallow grave. Shallow grave locked in. Oh, that, I've never personally experienced that move. It looks painful. It works on the knees. It works on the back. It works on the hips. It is probably one of the most effective submission moves anybody has ever done in WAW. And there's really only one escape, and that's the rope break. Rocco's got it. This is not a pure wrestling match. It's not the pure rules. Uh, you do not have a limit to how many rope breaks, so if they're going to work this with submission, they're going to want to center themselves a little better than that. Well, Rocco right there. Gino Diamini, of course, wants to keep his focus on the knees. I mean, that's not his only offense. I mean, he can hit that head, the uh, headstone out of nowhere. That's what makes the headstone so dangerous. It can be used as a counter to almost any attack. And when it happens, you don't know what happened until you're on the ground trying to figure oh, it out. A reversal of the bulldog. By then, the last thing you hear is the word three out of the referee's mouth. That's never a fun experience when that referee's hand hits the third mat and you got that little L in your uh, record book. Oh, it's happened to me? Um, happened to you tonight. Y you get hit with it? Thank you. No, oh, wait. Oh, there. He tried to get that earlier. The pumping crusher. crusher. Unfortunately, it created a lot of distance between Rocco and Gino Diomedes. And Rocco, of course, seems to be holding his knee from the, uh, and I still don't get why he hits his joints after they're being tortured and rent to pot. He hits himself to make himself feel better. Well, this is the insanity of Rocco. Um, it's not that he's trying to get rid of the injury. The pain fuels him. He has an injury. We've got to come here. two, and, oh, wow. I thought that would have been it right there, but Gino. See, people don't understand that's why he's so effective in those hardcore environments, and he gets more brutal the more he gets attacked. He feeds on the pain. Well, Rocco's saying it's over. He wants to put Gino Diomedes away as fast as possible. Oh, wait, speaking of it, there it is. 
out of absolutely nowhere. It looks headstone. like Rocco and the Hell Seeker. He got headstone for his efforts. And Gino needs to pin him right away to get it, make it the most effective possible. He's crawling. Maybe Gino's been away from the ring for too long. One, two, two. Oh wow! I almost called the three for you, but that's a kick out right there. I see Peter the Breeze hand on the ring bell. He was absolutely ready to ring that, and I completely understand why. I'm not sure. There's some sort of arm neck submission going on right here. Maybe you can see it a little better than I can. Oh, he's headbutting Gino Diomedes to get out of it. Well, that's one way to do it. Of course, uh, you know the downside to a headbutt is it hurts you as much as it hurts them. But Rocco's um, taking that chance. Oh, Rocco and slam! Rocco slam! Well, Mr. Danvers, this has been, uh, I mean, an exciting night. Eleven years ago, you started WAW. You lost. You tapped out to the ankle lock from a dirty dealer when he became the first WAW champion. And eleven years later, you're sitting here at the announcer's table. I thought, oh wow, a flying head bump, and watching your former team partner defend his WAW championship against one of your bitter rivals. That's uh, an excellent feeling. I like. Uh, oh, we got a double down here. Rocco's actually hit himself in the head that uh, diving headbutt connected. And uh, here's the cover. One, two, and oh, wow, again. Wow, that was, a, that was just a breath away. This one's for Garbo. This one's for who? Garbo, Troy Garbo, who retired here tonight. Had and when he match. tries for the elbow, oh. Wow, his elbow hit the mat hard. You know, the master of the bones, leave the master of the bones to the bones, baby, but Rocco should never change his game plan. You might confuse your opponent, but you're going to confuse yourself, and that's one thing Rocco doesn't need is to confuse himself more. No Get, argument there. And <laughs> Gino Diomedes is getting a second win, maybe, going for it again, but no, reversal into yes, the hell seeker. No, no hell seeker. Another headstone. No. Oh, wait a minute. Wow, wow a yes. suplex right into a hell seeker. That was awesome. That was one of the most... Innovative, impressive things I've ever seen. We got to pin one, two, three. Oh, it's over. I need the official word from Mr. LeBree. Your winner, the WWE Champion Rocco. There it is. Your former teammate, Mr. Danvers. The uh, question is, are you going to stay here? Are you going to retire again? Come back in a few months? Go back to your ranch with your brothers, the Double Cross Ranch? What's going on with you? Go up there, give your partner a hug. What about this moment for now? Not about me. Rocco winning the main event of X1, our special aftermath, the two-time WAW champion retained with a hell seek, a suplex into a hell seeker, Gino Diomedes pinned to the mat. And now Rocco asking for the hand of Gino Diomedes. Nice. That was one of the most impressive matches I've ever seen. Last year, I was involved in a match to determine the best champion of the first 10 years, which I won. Tonight, I was respectively beaten by a man that I know will be the best champion for the next 10 years. All hail the Holy Hellraiser! All hail Rocco! And there you have it. The torch has been passed from probably the greatest champion of the last 10 years. The Halloween Hellraiser, Rocco. And well, Mr. Danvers, it's been your pleasure as always. Have a wonderful evening. Gino Diomedes, here you are. Oh, wait a minute. We have our team champions, we have our pure champion, and we have our WAW champion. Thank you all, and thank you to all of you. This is awesome.
right here. No, that's not Rocco's music. What you are hearing as it close the show is Cowboys from Hell, the official anniversary show theme. We have our WAW new team champions. We have our pure champion and Johnny Psycho. And of course we have our WAW champion, Rocco. Thank you for joining us. I wouldn't dare 